weekend for the very first time ever. There will be an art fair held on Belle Isle. Yeah, it's got 100 juried artists from uh, all together for, with a new tradition that's starting on the island. What's so fascinating is you would think that this would have been going on for a number of years. No, sure. not really. Joining us now, Mark Loeb, who's the organizer of the event back in the studio again. Lester Myricks, who's an artist. We'll get to his work in just a minute. Good morning, gentlemen. Nice yes, to see thank you. Thank you for being thank here. You. Yeah. So tell us, it took how many years to get an art fair? On well, if I'm remembering correctly, it's 105 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Yeah. And, and why Belle Isle? Well, what could be a more beautiful spot. We are right near the Scott Fountain. Okay. So the fair is uh, on the grass in that beautiful spot. Um, and a lot of the artists have work that reflects the beauty of yeah. Belle Isle. It's just been a place that people have gone to paint forever. It's time for them to sell their work right. there too. Okay, yeah. so will you still have to pay to get on the island to enjoy the art fair? Well, the uh, you do need to have your pass okay, if you are pass. driving on. Mm -hmm. It's eleven dollars, and that's good for every single state park, hundred and two of them, uh, for a full year. Um, of course, you can take the bus now that goes out there. Or take your bike, and then you don't have yeah. to pay. There you go. Very there interesting. All right, so tell us what you've brought with you, some of the art that you have, because it's so cool. Well, we have so everything from the edgy, um, mm -hmm. which people expect when they're coming sure. to Detroit. Um, to some things that are a little bit more calm. Everything from things you'd hang on the wall, things you'd put on your pedestal. Uh, things lot you'd of hang jewelry. on your neck. Oh yeah, jewelry is <laughs> such an jewelry. important part for a way of people expressing who they really are. And we have many jewelers out there who can help you find just the right look. Mm. So um, do you want to pick a few specifics? You're going to be right around that fountain, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what I would suggest, um, you know, the art fair, because of it being in Belle Isle, we're kind of going for the more serene feel, even though we do have some of the edgy work. Mm -hmm. the, the theme, in a way, is, you know, find some work that takes the feeling of serenity from Belle Isle home with you, and then you can have it there for a whole year long. Okay. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your work. Good to see you this morning. Good to be here. So, Lester, is this, uh, this is oil, right? Is this your medium? This is my medium. All right. So, let's see. You want to start right here and tell us about some of these? Uh, you go ahead. I'm going to stand back here so I can take a peek. You've also got your portrayal of the fountain, right? Yes. I call yeah. this thriving at Belle Isle Park Fountain. Yeah. Because there are, people come there and they do these selfie shots, you know, with the cameras. <laughs> yeah. And the festivity there, they all got to go there, you know. And they, sure. they, they come from all over. Uh, different states and so this is the center of attention. Are you one of those uh, artists like Mark was talking about where you've gone to Belle Isle to create your art over the years and now all of a sudden you'll be able to show your art? Oh yes, I love Belle Isle. I used to go out there to sleep at night, you know, when, the, when I was wow. young yeah. and the heat was hot. Wow. So Belle Isle has always been a great place. Yeah. And well let's jump back over here for just a minute with Tati. Yes. Yeah, so, so Mark, tell us, you want to start here? Just tell us quickly about individual pieces. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. So this is a piece by Tina Love, and it goes with that, uh, what I was talking about, you know, the serenity. You have that hanging mm -hmm. in your uh, um, breakfast room in the morning, and that's just a little thing that'll help you focus, uh, mm -hmm. feel good all day. Mm -hmm. We, of course, got the functional art right in front of that, different types of ceramics, metalwork, etc. Uh, one of the things my wife and I have been doing is mm -hmm. we've decided we're getting rid of our manufactured mugs and plates. Okay. And we're going to have individual things that, um, you know, each one of them will have a story. Where did we get it? Who did we that. meet? And it'll just uh, be a way of turning breakfast and lunch and dinner into a uh, walk down memory lane. That's awesome. Yeah, and a lot this of... this really caught my eye. What is this? That's a collage piece. It's uh, paper and then there's acrylic and varnish. Mm-hmm. Um, so one of the things that we're doing is we're helping people to collect their Belle Isle memories. And if you go on to our website, belleisleartfair.com, there's a place there where you can share your Belle Isle memories awesome. and we'll put them up there. So we just heard one from Lester, but now I think yeah. you can tell us well, about the rest of the Yeah, well, and Lester, th look at this one right here, Mark and Tati. Th those two chairs are waiting for us to find our serenity yeah. in Belle Isle, right? <laughs> so you painted it in without our faces. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. Your well, inspiration for these is actually just being out there, is that it? Well, this one is not Belle Isle. That oh, that one's that, not. That, okay. That one's not. That's what is that a, one? That's a, a Birmingham. Oh, wonderful. Uh, um, the red chairs were in someone's backyard. And my wife wanted to, she saw these red chairs and was possessed by them. She, had, she knocked on the door and said, can I shoot these red chairs? <laughs> I love it. And you got permission and then you painted it. She shot the yeah. red chairs and 
Uh, I, I had to change the background, but the red chairs are there. All right. Well, good to see you, Lester. Thanks so much. Thank Have a so great much show. For being Thanks, Mark. Here.